Okay, so we've done research, we've looked online, and now we've found a resource book. And finding a resource book is, is actually very helpful, and you know the information in this book is f pretty valid because it actually has been published and somebody has purchased it. And in this instant, your library has purchased your, um, your, your reference book. So now it's time to actually use that reference book and actually make it worthwhile. So what I want you to have open is your gathering grid. And what I want you to do is in your gathering grid, I want you to make a second table. And it's a four by four column, or table please. And in there, you're just, this is just going to be for your book resources or for better yet, it'll be tangible sources. Spell check. Tangible sources. All right, so these are things that could be a magazine, uh, a reference book, uh, for instance, an encyclopedia, or in a nonfiction book from the library. So we're going to make this so that because you're going to find a few websites and you're going to end up having to link them all, and you're going to run out of room for references. And it's always good to have a tangible source. Um, most require most um, assignments do require you to have a tangible, i.e., a book, a magazine, etc. So you have this table, source one, two, and three, and in this source, in the source, you're actually going to put the title of the book and the author, and then you have your question one, and you can um, put just question one, or you can actually put the question that you have in the grid above. And in this page, you're going to put the info slash the answer to your question, that something you found, and then the page number you found it on. Now, I have a document, and this document is a, is a practice one. And let's pretend we're doing uh, a report on the human body. I found a reference book, um, conveniently titled Human Body. And in this book, I'm now going to access the table of contents. Now, I want to make sure that this book has the information I want. So I look at the table of contents, and I just skim over it and make sure there's something that I could use. Now, I'm doing a, a report on the skeletal system, and I know skeletal system deals with bones. So right here. I have the word bones and I can look at and see if there's anything that I might want. So I see a marvelous machine. Now that that might be something I want. But then I go ahead and go to chapter 1 or investigation 1 just to see what it's all about. And on the page I find some information and I wanted to do more of a report on the rib cage and what the rib rib cage are is, etc. Now I may not find all the answers to my focus questions in here, but I'm, I one of my questions is um, how many ribs uh, is in our body? How many ribs are protecting our our lungs, etc.? So I can see that I have an answer here. It says in your chest there are 12 pairs of ribs, and now a pair is two, so 12 times two is 24. So back at my grid, I can say the answer to pretend my question is. How many ribs are in the body? You know what? My focus question should be a little bit different because that has a one word answer. My question could really be describe description of ribs. Now that could lead me to more. So I'm going to look at this. And my answer was 12 pairs of ribs protect the internal organs. Now, the info, there's my answer, and what page did I get on? So in parentheses, I'm going to go back and check and make sure I have the page number. And the page number is not provided. It must be it got cut off, so there's a technical difficulty, but I remember that the page number was page so I'm actually going to put PG for initials, or abbreviations, page 2. Now you want to remember to do that because if you need to access it or quote something from there, you'll have, have the opportunity to. And so this is called the human body. And let's see who that was by. Oh, it's actually produced by Delta Education. So we're just going to put by... Delta Education. Alright, so 
now we have access to book and if you notice I did not I did not copy word for word and if I did I'm gonna go back and make sure I paraphrased so I wanna double check 12 pairs of ribs now they use the word pair so I don't wanna use that word I wanna make sure I change that word 12 sets of ribs and I can put total length 24 so that way I know I don't uh, plagiarize because that would be an, a very bad negative thing that for me to do alright so good luck in looking in your tangible source and finding the information that is valuable to you